Peter Jürgen Bock, hello. Hello. Uh, in the 70s, you were a member of the Red Army Fraction. That's true. And you did participate in the kidnapping of Hans Martin Schleyer. Yes, I did. What you said recently in Germany was that uh, Mr. Schleyer was detained for a couple of weeks in Brussels. Can you explain that? Uh, Brussels for us uh, was an uh, intermediate point between Amsterdam and Paris. It has an international community, so for us it was possible to hire flats here. And from the beginning of uh, the Schleyer operation, we planned uh, to bring him first to the Netherlands and then uh, to Belgium and maybe afterwards to France. Where did you choose an apartment in Brussels? Uh, I think I found it back. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but the place looked quite the same. Um, it was in the outskirts of uh, Brussels, a uh, uh, four or five uh, floor uh, uh, house uh, with uh, great flats in it. And uh, we choose the one of, in top of the house uh, uh, because of security and other reasons. And we uh, rented it uh, for a time. Uh, the person went off somewhere. I don't remember if he was a student or, or anything. Uh, we rented it for a time and it was mostly furnished. It was a temporary renting? Yeah. We uh, prefer to uh, take this kind of flats because everything is fixed. Uh, you have a phone, uh, you don't have to go for electricity and water and all the other things. Uh, when it's fixed, it's good. Can you describe the room where Mr. Schleyer was detained? Well, we put out everything of this room. Uh, there were three mattresses, uh, uh, a little uh, chair, uh, and uh, that's it, and a lamp. And uh, of course, it was a possibility to uh, close the room to the outside with uh, uh, curtains. At the end, Mr. Schleyer was uh, killed. Can you explain the context and why he was killed? Uh, we had a kind of uh, contract with the uh, Palestinians and uh, uh, they made uh, this action against the uh, German airplane from Lufthansa and uh, most members of this commando were killed. And uh, so for us uh, at that time, I have to say, uh, uh, the decision was he can't get away alive. But you were not a member of the team who killed Mr. Schleyer? No, I was at that time in Baghdad. Why were you in Baghdad? Uh, to uh, manage the things with the Palestinians. It was their action. Uh, we only participate. You are uh, among the few ex-members of the uh, RAF who are speaking spoken openly uh, about this experience. Why are there so little people, so few people explaining what happened? I don't understand it myself because uh, most members of uh, my generation of the group um, had, uh, how you can say, problems with their parents about the Nazi time. Every one of us asked, where were you, what were you doing, and uh, mostly you don't, didn't get an answer from that generation. And I think uh, by not talking about it, they're doing quite the same mistake that uh, they presented to their parents. Uh, so if you want no doubling of this history mistakes, you have to talk about it. You have been in jail? Yeah, for 18 years. What was this experience for you? <sighs> you can't say it in one sentence. I saved my mind by starting writing. Uh, but many members, uh, not many, but few members of the group, they lost their mind uh, on long term and uh, didn't found back. Do you, do you have any advice for the younger generation which would like to be more violent, as was the Road Army fraction in the 70s? Uh, 
Don't trust in quick solutions. There are no quick solutions. Don't trust in ideological solutions. There are no ideological solutions. Thank you.